Hey everybody, this is Chris Bullock from the Strength and Conditioning. Today we're going to be talking about an upper back drill. This drill is just a kind of a mobility stability drill. Helps us work on some rhythm with the glenohumeral joint working with the scapula thoracic. So as those two things move, there's a, there's a cadence that they somewhat move together with. And so we're trying to promote some good movement through those two joints together along with reducing any kind of compensatory pattern through the lumbar spine as I raise my hands overhead. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our low back first thing onto the wall. So I can either do this seated or standing, but the main point is we want that low back pretty firm to the wall in this position. We're going to have the head back on the wall. So we have a really, really neutral spine and maybe even just a little bit of a flex posture at the lumbar spine by pushing my low back onto it. And so from here, I'm going to have the back of my elbows and the back of my wrists and hands are going to be on the wall. So I'm going to start here and making sure those things maintain contact with the wall. I'm going to be raising my arms as high as I can. My low back is still on, hands on, elbows on. So I raise those up as high as I can and then I'm going to lower them as low as I can. And I'm just making sure my rib cage stays down and I'm going to drive through my middle of my back. I feel lots of low traps here as I bring my shoulder blades down into my, into my back pockets. They somewhat depress into my back right there. And then I'm going to raise and I'm just going with a really slow tempo, looking for my, my full range of motion as I go from top to bottom, making sure I'm not cheating by pulling my, pulling my low back off the, off the wall to get a little bit more room. So usually we're doing this 6 to 12 reps. Uh, go ahead and give that a shot. Thanks for watching.